they upset salt over everything and as for the butter i never saw two men do more with one and two pence worth of butter in my whole life than they did here the author says that the butter which they were having in their hand was only worth of one or two pence means it was only the cost of one or two pence pence is the currency here and it was not more than one or two pence costing even then they were doing such an hard work over this butter so the author says that i have never seen two men doing more with one and two pence worth of butter in my whole life than they did means they were working too hard to save that butter which was only of the cost of or the worth of one or two pence after george had got it off his slipper they tried to put it in the kettle oh my god now you might have understood what he wanted to mean means after george had got it off his slipper means first it sticked under george's slipper so they uh, tried hard to uh, get it off from his slipper and they tried to put it in the kettle after that from getting it off from the slipper they tried to put it in the kettle what was it use of my god it won't go in it won't go in and what was in won't come out and what was already in did not the whole of the butter did not go into the kettle and whatever went already could not come out they did scrape it out at last scrape it means um, they scratched it out at last and put it down on a chair and harris then sat on it and it stuck to him this it here i know you all know that it's butter and they went looking for it all over the room harris sat on the butter which was kept on the chair it got stuck to him and then both of them george and harris went on looking for the butter all over the room i'll take my oath i put it down on that chair said george staring at the empty seat i take my oath means i swear i put it down on that chair george said i saw you do it myself not a minute ago said harris yes harris agreed and said that yes you did that and not a minute ago i too saw doing you that then they started round the room again looking for it and then they met again in the center and stared at one another simply like this they wasted the whole time searching for the thing which was nowhere in the room most extraordinary thing i ever heard of said george george was very shocked and he said that i have never heard anything more exciting or more suspenseful than this one so mysterious said harris and at this harris agreed and said it is very mysterious too then george got round at the back of harris and saw it why here it is all the time he exclaimed indignantly indignantly means very angrily he exclaimed angrily why here it is all the time where cried harris spinning around spinning you know boys definitely i know they know but let me tell the girls that spinning is uh, moving round and round and round so harris cried and he spinned around and asked where it is stand still can't you roared george flying after him flying almost trying to catch him and he asked him to stand still 
and they got it off and packed it in the teapot even after picking it off from there from back of harris they packed it in the teapot uh, mon 